Hey guys, it's Erica, and today I'm going to be showing you a swatch and review video of the China Glee Summer Collection. I'm going to be showing you 8 polishes out of the 12 just because I only picked up the ones that stood out most to me, so you'll be seeing 8 in this video. The first polish I'm going to show you is this bright pink, almost coral color called Sunset the Mood. In the bottle, this one looked really pretty, so it's one of the ones I was most looking forward to try. It definitely does come out just like it looks in the bottle when you first paint it on your nails, but I have to say I was a little disappointed because it comes out with almost a matte finish once it dries. But it was opaque in two coats, so if you just add on a glossy top coat, I think this one would look great. This next polish is a bright red color that's called Flame Buoyant, and I think this one is a great one to wear during the summer. This one does also have that weird matte finish that I'm not too much of a fan of, but it is really light and bright, which I really like because it's not the typical darker reds that you see all the time. So you could just add a glossy top coat with two coats of this color, and I think it would be a really fun one to pick up. On to the next color, this one is a super bright orange one called Sultry Solstice. This one definitely screams summer because of how bright it is and because you don't really wear oranges throughout the rest of the year. This one I was a little bit disappointed in just because it wasn't very opaque, so I did need three coats of this one. But the formula was fine, and it did have that weird matte finish that, again, I don't really love. But with all of these polishes that are matte finish, I think you can just add a glossy top coat and you won't even notice. It's not my absolute favorite, but if you love wearing bright colors, then this is the one for you. The next polish is a light blue color with a hint of green, and it's called All Glammed Up. Now for this one, I was really excited just because these light bluish kind of green colors are always my weakness when it comes to nail polish, but I would have to say it's not the most unique thing I've ever seen. I still absolutely love the color, it was perfect in two coats, but I have a ton of other polishes that are like this, so you don't need it, but I would say that you could use it a lot. It would be a great one to use for nail art, so I don't think you can really go wrong with this one. The next one is this gorgeous blue shimmer polish that's called I Truly Azuri. Now this one is one of my favorites because I think it's absolutely perfect for summer and it has a great formula and it's perfect in two coats. Personally, I don't usually like these kinds of shimmer polishes and I've tried out different ones that are similar to this, but I've never liked them as much as I like this one. I think it would be awesome to wear to the beach or just on any summer day, so this is a great one. Moving on to another one of my favorites, this is a dark blue polish called Simply Fab Blue List, which is also one of my favorite names out of the collection. So this one, again, was really great formula and it was opaque in two coats, although I would say watch out for staining just because these dark blue polishes do stain really easily, but I really do love this one. It's hard to describe because there's just something about this one that when you look at it in person, it's totally different from any other blue I've seen. So you guys definitely need to try this one out. Now onto this purple polish. It's called Summer Rain, and I'd have to say I didn't really love this color too much. This one had the weird matte finish that the other ones did, but I feel like in this case it really did affect the color and it really made it a lot more dull than it looks in the bottle. This one also did need three coats like the orange one, so I really didn't enjoy that either. And I also think that China Glaze has another color that's really similar to this one, has like the same matte effect kind of thing going on, so I don't think you guys need to pick this one up. The last polish I have is this silver chrome color that's called Chroma Cool. I was a little bit skeptical when I added the first coat of this one, just because it looked like any other silver polish, but once you add on that second coat, it reminds me more of adding a chrome powder to my nails, which I thought was really cool. So I really did like this one overall and it was good in two coats so if you need a basic chrome silver polish you can pick this one up but if you already have one I think you can pass on this one. My top picks are surprise surprise these two blue polishes but let me know in the comments down below which one was your guys' favorite. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Thanks for watching. Bye guys!